Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will start with sorting of contents of a file using the sort command. And we have the following options. This is kind of a powerful tool for text manipulation of a file. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm here in my directory and I have created a file for countries.txt. And if you can see the file, it contains a list of countries. Some of the lines have a preceding space in it and some of the country names start with a lowercase letter. So the contents is duplicated. So let's do a normal operation sort countries.txt and you will see that as soon as I execute this command, it has sorted the file in an alphabetical order. So it has first started with alphabetical order of the first character and going down you would see the last is z that is zimbabwe so if i use option <coughs> if i use the option b it will ignore the leading space in each line i can use to sort the file similar option you will see that it will ignore the spaces that is uh, you can say here D is for dictionary sort orders. This is same as the alphabetical sort. So F is used to ignore any case. You can say the uppercase or lowercase letters. Capital M is used to sort based on months. Let us create a file months.txt. And I will put some months name in some random order. All right. Now, if I sort months.txt, so you would see it has sorted in an alphabetical order. But what if I wanted to sort based on the actual months? I can use option capital M and I can sort it. You will see it will sort in the order of the months that is january is first then may july august and december so this is very useful if you are going to sort based on months and is used for numeric sorting so suppose i if i create a file numbers and you can put some numbers like and if i do sort iphone n numbers of txt so it will sort the numbers based on their order that is numeric order you can also use r that will capital r that will sort randomly so if i if i sort our months file so it, it will sort it randomly based on you can see a random order and every time you might have a different output you can also use reverse sorting with small r and it will give you the you can say reverse order in the alphabetical sort. Now we will see the use of some option with U that is actually suppress duplicate lines which acts as a unique. So I can have all the unique data of my file by using option U and you will see that it has sorted the unique values. But a key point to note is that I have Afghanistan and another line with Afghanistan with a leading space. Also, if you see here, the Korea line and this line are same actually, but it has a leading capital or uppercase letter and a lowercase letter. Similarly for Malaysia. So if I want to remove or ignore the capital or you can say cases, you can use an option F and you would see that it will ignore the uppercase and lowercase letters. So it will provide the unique value. Now if I want to ignore the leading spaces, I can use B. So it will ignore the leading spaces and it will actually give me a unique value for 
the leading spaces as well as the line which does not have any space. So if you see here, it, it has only given me one value for Afghanistan. However, here we had two values. Now we have an advanced operation using key that is that specifies the field positions. Now if I open the file countries.txt using more command, you would see that we explained you. We have three columns in this line that is United Arab Emirates. The first column contains United, the second column contains Arab and third column, column contains Emirates. Similarly, for United Kingdom and United States, we have two columns. Normally, these countries have only one column. Here, we have two columns separated by a space. Now, suppose I want to sort countries.txt and I want to search in the first column and based on the first letter. This is a normal sort operation. So if you, you will see that it will provide me the same data which has been given by the sort command. So this implies the first column and after dot we have the first character of that column. So here this is the first character of our line. But what if I want to sort with the second character that is for Afghanistan I want to have F and for Albania I want to have L so I can specify let me just clear it 2 here so it will sort with the second character of that line so you see Azerbaijan has C in the second character and is last and Switzerland has W is second last same is for Austria and Australia, which have U in the, the second place of their country name. Afghanistan is on top because it has a leading space which marks for the first character and A for the second character. So Malaysia and Maldives are trailing because they have A as well for the second character. Similarly, I can do the same thing for the third character. And you would see New Zealand would come to last because it has W as the third character. And, and you will see here Iran is on the first place because A is the third character for this line. Similarly, if I want to sort based on the second column, I can just replace this part and it will sort on the second column. So New Zealand would come to last because it has Z in the second column and United States would be second last because it has S. United Arab Emirates is the first here on for the countries which have the second column. All the other countries here have only one column and it will always be on the top. Similarly, if I want to sort with the third column, I can do so. And you would say because only we have one country with the three columns it will be just specified at the end. So I hope this option of sorting using a key map is clear to you and you can use it to sort with advanced you can say characteristics. So now let's create a CSV file and we will see here I will put some data here. So I've created a CSV file. If you see this CSV file, you would see it is a random file with the first column specifying the number and second column have some names. So I can use an option T to specify a delimiter that is you can specify that I want to split the file using the delimiter T and then I can sort the file. So if I do that, you would see it will sort based on the numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now what if I want to sort based on the name? So I can specify the option K, I can specify the column number that is 2 and I can specify the character that is 1. 
So it will sort based on the second column that is Adam, Bravo, Charlie, Gamma, and Zeta. You can also sort based on second character of the second column. So it will give me A, D, E, H, and R. That is for Gamma, we have A. For Adam, we have D. For Zeta, we have E. So you can combine this to sort, uh, you can say multiple files as well. Now I have all these multiple files. I can use this option sort. Let me do it here. So I have these multiple files. I can just do a sort start.txt using the wildcard and I will sort all these files and give me the data. But this data is not useful because all this file contains a different form of data. I can just do one thing. Let me split the country's file with line 5 and it will give me the following files. XBC, XBB, etc. Starting from XAA actually. So what I can do if you see the file XAA it will have five country names. So if I want to sort the countries and give a unique of all the country name, I can use X star, which will implement all the files starting from X and it will give me a unique country from there. So using a delimit, sorry, using a wild card, you can use sort command on multiple files as well. Just to recap, we used the following option that is B, which ignores the leading spaces in each line, D, which is for dictionary sort order, F, which is for case insensitive sorting, capital M, which sorts based on months, N, which uses numeric sorting and is used for uh, sorting of numbers, capital R for random sorting, and small r for reverse order sorting. K is used to specify the column as well as characters and you can use it advanced way with T where we can specify the separator as well. The U option would give you the unique uh, lines from the file. So go ahead and try it out. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next lecture.